Hello, and thanks for visiting the Sieber Consulting blog. My name is Patrick Sieber, and I'll be your guide for this video. Mm, good coffee. Today we're going to be discussing the Windows 7 system imaging process. This is an awesome process you're really going to like. It's simple to do, and you need this. You will be very happy one day that you've done this. Now, once we've gone through the video, I am going to ask you a favor. I am a blogger, and bloggers live and die by comments. I'm going to ask you to go to the bottom of the blog entry you found this video on, and please leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, or what you'd like to see in the future. I'm certainly willing to make tutorials that will help you out. I just need to know what they are. Right now I'm kind of hitting or missing. Your input won't matter. And trust me, there are no silly questions, and someone else is going to want the answer to the question you asked me. So if you've got a topic, you'd like more information about it, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But right now let's go ahead and dive into today's video. We're going to start by hitting the start button and when it comes up start typing in backup. And you'll see that what comes up is backup and restore and that's precisely where we want to go right now. Click enter and here we are. And Hopefully you're not getting this red banner. I do because I use actually Mosey. I can prove it. Right there. Just backed up three hours ago. 150 gigabytes online. Five dollars a month. Not bad. Anyway, what you want to do <clears throat> is make sure you're doing some kind of backup. But if you're not going to do a backup, be sure you do create a system image. And you can see it right here. So let's click on this. You've got to approve it, the user account control, and here it comes. Now you need to have your external drive or know your, your secondary drive that you're going to leave the image on. And the image will be about the same size, maybe a little smaller than the contents of your hard drive right now. So you may need quite some space. This is actually a 500 gig hard drive in the external hard drive dock, the Black X by Thermal Take. <clears throat> Excuse me, coffee break time. Oh, that's good coffee. And um, so you'll need some space, but if you've got a spare hard drive, you may be able to use it. Um, even if it's there's a question, it may fail. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Now we're going to hit next it tells us that we're going to do the system reserved definitely recommend it and the local C system now F is yet another backup drive for me so I'm not going to back that up but these two I do want this will capture all my programs all the program settings any program keys that are required for say Adobe CS5 or uh, Microsoft Office uh, keys all of these will remain intact and go into the image of your system and then when your system fails not if when it fails when the hard drive takes a dump specifically hard drive you can just swap it out and do a restore of this image and everything will work it'll take a couple hours uh, maybe three four depending on the hard drive size with a USB I run on the eSATA connection because I can on this particular system I recommend eSATA highly. It's very fast. It's faster than USB. I believe it's faster than USB 3 as well. So when in doubt, go with fast. But when you restore it, it will absolutely start right up like it used to. It's awesome. Let's click Next. And he says, OK, any existing images may be overwritten. Well, and it also declares it's going to take 386 gigabytes of space. I've got that space, and I want the full system recovery, so it's not a problem for me. When I click Start the Backup, it's going to begin. Here we go. Now, this one's close to 400 gigabytes, so it will take probably in the neighborhood of a couple hours to do the backup, possibly less. Um, I'll go ahead and set a timer on this, and uh, I'll be back to finish up soon as it's completed. Bye for now. Okay, and as you can see, the backup is progressing and 
I do like to play some country music just to keep the backup moving pretty good. You, you may consider doing the same thing, but certainly your call. Back in a bit. Bye for now. All right, and as you can see, the process has completed. Um, here's the part that I strongly recommend you do. This creates a system repair disk, and this is critical for recovering the system. If you don't have this, the image you just made is going to be difficult to restore. I believe you can create it from another system and then use it, but hey, when in doubt, make a new one. Um, that's really all there is to it. Make sure you've got a CD ready. Um, make sure you you have your USB eSATA device prepared and attached to the system and on prior to starting the create system image process. And then relax while it goes ahead and performs a backup. It will grab virtually every file you've got or a copy thereof. Uh, open files it may have a problem with, but if you're just surfing the internet, no big deal. You may want to take the time to go ahead and do a defrag and make sure you've cleared your temp files prior to doing the image. Um, but still, as long as you've got an image, you're good to go. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as I mentioned in the in the introduction, please leave me, please leave me a comment. It makes a difference. Thanks for your time. God bless. Bye now.